Good morning, everybody. So my tour of the UK is continuing. I am currently in Liverpool. It is currently raining like hell. And as a result, I'm bundling up a little bit more than usual. So we have some stuff to talk about when it comes to Blue Origin. But before we get to that, we have a couple of house cleaning items to take care of. Also, some things that I want to let you guys know about. But the Blue Origin topic is what What's most important because I really didn't think that this was a story that I was even going to make any videos about in the first place. It appeared that this was a, you know, an, an anomaly that had a highly successful demonstration of New Shepard's abort system, and that was about it. But things have developed that have triggered a number of videos from me, and more has happened since then. And frankly, I'm getting a little pissed off about it. So we're going to get right into all of this extremely important content and what you can do about it right now. <laughs> So here's the deal. A few days ago, Scott Manley reported that in a particular company that had a scientific package aboard this particular New Shepard mission, well, they got their package back in good shape. Everything was looking good. And they commented on LinkedIn that it was in really good shape, amazingly, even though it had undergone an acceleration of 13 Gs. What the? Now, this is far in excess of what everybody said the abort system should have subjected any crew on board who, who might have been there to if there had been an actual anomaly with a crewed mission. It would have been maybe eight or nine Gs, 13 Gs. That's far in excess, really, of what fighter pilots go through on a regular basis. And also, the folks on board New Shepard don't have these nice G suits, these accelerators suits that fighter pilots wear. Now, granted, they are on their backs during the launch process. It's a perfect position for the acceleration force to be properly distributed, you know, as they are accelerating. But still, we really have no idea what that kind of acceleration would have done to somebody, especially if they were older. They almost certainly would have blacked out, and there could have been far more significant consequences. So, since Congress had already demanded greater transparency, we would expect that Congress would have demanded more information about something like this, especially considering that this post about this 13 Gs was delivered deleted off of LinkedIn less than an hour after it was posted, at least according to what I've heard. But nope, that's not what happened. Instead, the con congressmen, rather, the representatives who had demanded this transparency, they released a statement a few days later saying that Blue Origin had met with them, they had received a report, and they were perfectly satisfied as to the contents, which kind of supports the notion of what I was talking about uh, when I first released a video about this topic, that this was just political grandstanding and showboating, saying that we're in charge, you know, something like this happens, you need to keep us informed, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now that we've gone ahead and said all that, we did, yeah, we, we were never really serious about that, guys. But here's the deal. I understand that Blue Origin needs to keep proprietary technology a secret, but the acceleration that passengers might potentially be exposed to in the event of an accident, that's information that all of us need to know about if they are marketing the general public for seats on New Shepard which is exactly what they're doing. But instead, we haven't heard a damn thing from anybody. Really, as far as I know, Scott Manley's report is the only thing that's sitting out there that gives any credence to this general story. The whole idea that, you know, 13, that any scientific package was subjected to this kind, these kinds of conditions. But I trust Scott Manley. He puts out really, really good content that he thoroughly investigates before he actually says anything about about it. So if he says it was there, it was there. And if Blue Origin suppressed the information afterwards, why? 
Did they do it because it wasn't correct? Because that was an exaggeration or a miscalculation? If that's the case, then why haven't they publicly debunked this story? Or were they trying to suppress it because they don't want people to know about all this? If that is the case, then we definitely need more transparency from Blue Origin, and that's something we're definitely not getting. So before I tell you what you need to do in terms of uh, if you're interested in trying to demand greater transparency from the U.S. government, let's talk about our house cleaning items real quick. First of all, I just had a great visit with Sierra Space. I interviewed the president of the company. They gave me this cool book. Oh my God, it has so many amazing illustrations of Dream Chaser and all that. I mean, this thing is astonishing. Thank you so much, Sierra Space. But the interview and all of the new information that I got about Dream Chaser and Orbital Reef, if you like Sierra Space, you need to check that out. It's linked right here and also in the description. And also tomorrow, Saturday night here in Liverpool, we, in conjunction with a local fireworks store, we're going to be finally launching the Boeing Glitch Liner and also the Joff Bazos Overcompensator. And this was supposed to be done if I had 90,000 subscribers. I'm so close. We are all so close, and I know you're out there, guys. I know that I have almost 150,000 repeat viewers, so I know I can get a few thousand more subscribers before tomorrow night. Please subscribe, guys. Just click on that. Hit that like. Let's move on. So fortunately, now that Congress and some specific representatives have gone on record as demanding transparency from Blue Origin, we can now demand that transparency from them. Once again, I don't demand, we're not demanding the Blue Origin release any sort of proprietary information about their rocket, their technology, anything. Just the potential dangers that passengers might undergo. And once again, this isn't necessarily all rich people either. Jeff sometimes gives seats away on this thing. Everybody needs to be properly informed as to what they can expect. And for those of you who are saying there are some Blue Origin supporters who tune into this channel, and you're saying, hey, you're just picking on Blue Origin. You hate them. You love SpaceX, blah, blah, blah. Bull. Anybody familiar with my channel knows for certain that I am just as hard on SpaceX, if not harder, especially when it comes to Starship and the potential threat that a Starship-related anomaly would present to the Boca Chica area. I have made video after video about that topic. So no, in spite of what anybody might think, I'm not biased in terms of demanding transparency, especially when it comes to the safety of human beings. I demand that from everybody, and so should all of us. So check the description for ways to contact these representatives. And also, please like, please subscribe. Let me reemphasize that because I've got a great event coming up for you tomorrow night that we've been waiting about a year for at this point. And as always, stay angry about space. <laughs>